Want an inside look at the future of injection molding? Follow me. We've digitalized the entire molding process to bring you faster and more cost-efficient parts. It lets you quickly launch products to market, create agility in volatile markets, and reduce your overall risk of capital expenses tied to steel tooling and minimum order quantities. It's injection molding tailored to fit your project needs. And it all starts when you upload your CAD model at protolabs.com. Within hours, you'll have an interactive quote with free manufacturing analysis to help enhance the moldability of your parts. When you're ready to order, our team virtually manufactures your design, often called the digital twin, before sending instructions to the production floor, which is where our tour begins. Before we start moving through our molding facility in Plymouth, Minnesota, let's quickly talk numbers. Globally, we have hundreds of presses molding about more than 4 million parts each month. Our standard lead time is 15 days, but we have expedited options and often deliver molds and sample parts in as fast as one day. We are ISO 9001-2015 certified and ITAR compliant. Our Plymouth plant is 166,000 square feet, of which 140,000 of that is manufacturing space. We have about 500 employees who work here, and our four manufacturing shifts run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In the front of the house, you'll see over 25 molding presses, ranging in size from 55 to 200 ton, dedicated to part sampling in smaller quantities, from 25 to 500 parts, before shifting to our production facility in Rosemount, Minnesota. But more on that later. Let's start moving through the floor and make a quick stop in our liquid silicone rubber molding area, where we have 44, 121, and 165 ton presses for low volume production of durable, elastomeric LSR parts. In addition to molding LSR parts in standard, optical, medical, and fuel resistant grades, and in multiple durometers, these presses are vital to our over molding process, which molds elastomeric materials over a rigid substrate. As we continue through the molding plant, we arrive at mold milling. We typically cut molds from aluminum to reduce manufacturing time and cost, but sometimes we turn to steel, depending on the part's geometry, material, or quantity. With aluminum tooling, single and multi-cavity tooling in two, four, and eight cavity molds are possible, depending on part size and complexity. Aluminum tools also improve heat dissipation without the need for messy cooling lines. Oh, and they allow for inexpensive mold-safe tooling modifications. Once your mold is machined, if required, it stops at an EDM machine for a final touch-up. It then moves through the build process for polishing and pin replacement assembly before it's brought out to the press. So, can we talk materials for a sec? We stock hundreds of thermoplastic resins, ranging from polypropylene to nylon to ABS, all in a variety of color options. You can also supply your own resin if you choose. Before resin moves to the press, moisture is removed from the material through our state-of-the-art resin dryers to help prevent future moldability issues. Once your mold is affixed and the press is calibrated, molding starts. For production tooling, we follow advanced scientific molding processes to enable part and process consistency for the lifetime of the product. And back to our tour route, which continues to the back of the house, where we house our large mega mold presses, which are capable of producing parts as large as 20 inches by 30 inches by 8 inches. The presses here range in size from 300 to 500 ton. Okay, before we jump over to our low-volume production facility in Rosemount, let's quickly cover our CTQ, or Critical to Quality, process that provides enhanced quality control of parts. On parts in need of CTQ, our engineering team will review your model and email you an inspection statement of work, an ISOW, which lets you know if any features you have indicated on your print have issues with tolerances and moldability. Once we send the ISOW, we manufacture and inspect your order. 
With sample parts in hand, we inspect three total parts from the tool using a coordinate measuring machine, or CMM, and provide you with a first article inspection, FAI, report. The CTQ FAI measures all critical and reference dimensions. Leveraging the same CMM, we inspect another 30 parts from the order and produce the CTQ capability report. All right, so like we talked about earlier, all sampling is done in our Plymouth facility. But when orders are ready for quantities beyond a few hundred, production moves to our Rosemount facility. Here, we have more than 125 presses housed in over 110,000 square feet of manufacturing space that handle our low volume production runs. In total, the building has nearly 130,000 square feet of space. Molding runs routinely produce volumes as low as a few hundred often reach volumes of 50,000 to 100,000 parts, and occasionally make part runs over 1 million parts. As part of the digitalization process, we have our machine monitoring system and Cobot's helpers remove and clip parts. We've made tremendous strides towards total factory connectivity, and with every press connected to the network, we have the ability to create holistic views of machine utilization, live order tracking, scrap tracking, and discrete press parameter monitoring for individual molds. The sky's the limit in the future for further leveraging live machine information. Our cobots are crucial helpers in the plant, completing many automated tasks to create another layer of consistency in our processing of parts and help their human partners with productivity. That comes in handy on our long runs that can sometimes go for weeks at a time. You can also choose from a wide selection of secondary operations and post-processing capabilities that help strengthen parts, improve cosmetic appearance, provide customization, and other benefits. Those include things like mold texturing, threaded inserts, pad printing, and laser engraving. During runs, parts are periodically inspected for continued accuracy, then quickly packaged up and shipped out. And often, this entire process we just covered happens within days. Welcome to the future of injection molding. We hope you enjoyed the ride. Have a project that needs molded parts? Get a quote today.